Imagine this small boy recording music in his room. If I would tell you that he would be the biggest art YouTuber on the planet, would you believe me? Today I want to tell you the story about the guy who went through suicidal period, who opened his own company, who became perfect example of personal brand, who opened the doors for international business, who worked with the biggest people on the planet, and it was only possible because of his art. My name is Francis Baranski. I love zero to heroes journeys of internet creators because I'm trying to do the same. And this is the entire story of 1000. Enjoy. 1000's story begins at 14. He was always into art, but the most he was into the music. 1000 had a clear vision. He told his dad he wanted to turn his room into a recording studio, charging $10 per song. Imagine what your dad would say. His dad said, no electric guitar after 11 p.m. Awesome. Imagine being that young, 14 years old, and having this business mindset, and having this support from your parents. Amazing. So he had this mix of bands in his room. Metal bands on Mondays, Grand McQuire's on Wednesdays, rapping guys on Fridays. He was cheap enough with decent quality. So when he went to the college, he was all into music. But he wasn't in the best shape and his grades at the end of the year were affected by PE classes as well. So to counter that, he signed up for all of the art classes possible. He went to this extreme that he needed to create his own curriculum and he was learning about art from every possible angle. But still, he was the most into the music. This is why he decided to study music and audio engineering. So he went to the university, he won the mixing award, and he was certified as Pro Tool Operator. And during this time, being 19 years old, he already knew where he wanted to work. In LA, in the Village Recording Studio. He was so driven that he rented the apartment across the street of the studio. And he went there asking for a job and they told him that they are, they are full, they are not hiring. Imagine what you would say. He would say, oh, okay, maybe next time. He said, okay, I'll just call next week. And he was calling each week. Imagine this, being this guy, knowing what he wants, calling each week. And they were saying, no, oh, we're still full. And he would say, okay, what are you gonna do? This is my dream job. I will just keep calling, man. This is the drive. And this is like feeling of being enough, being enough today without this imposter syndrome. So he was working in different studios in LA at the time. But finally, after calling for six months each week, he had the callback and they gave him this small gig with this guy. Shadow Stevens. He took the job, went brilliantly, and he got the real, real job at the Village Studio. This was the LA dream. He was a runner, so he was the guy for everything. Going for the coffee, for Slash, he was driving meatloaf, and he was playing ping pong with John Mayer. And when I'm saying playing, I mean kicking his ass. So this was the LA dream for one year. But then his girlfriend at the time decided that she hates LA and she got a move to Seattle. And he said, well, I learned a lot. Maybe this is just the next chapter for me. So he went with her. They moved to Seattle and 1000 knew what he wanted to do. He wanted to open his own studio. It's because with the experience he had, he knew everything. So he opened the studio on his own. He was working in Starbucks at the same time to, to make some money. And he started meeting people. He met these rappers and rapping groups. And he decided that he would create his own band, rapping band. With these guys, he could go all in. He had two bands, Mad Rat and Fresh Espresso. And they were playing hard. 1000 was mixing, singing, writing and producing basically the entire music. And suddenly they blew up and they were at all festivals. They became their local stars, but also they've been controversial, like having fights in the bars, newspapers writing about them. And 1000 decided that I am this partying guy. I am the real rockstar man. Partying and drinking and abusing drugs and basically taking drugs every day. With this lifestyle, it slowly, slowly, slowly took him down. He entered the dark period of his life. And with this dark thoughts, depression, suicidal thoughts, people around him dragging him down, hitting rock bottom, being f***ed up almost every day. It's like the darkest period of 10 hundreds. And this was so scary and so dark and he didn't really have the real life. And he was in this constant loop of people around him dragging him down and he was thinking even about killing himself but then he took the most important decisions in his life he decided that he will reach out the only person that could help him he called his dad and admitted that he is addicted and that he needs help 
He came back, he cut off from the people, dragging him down, and he started a new life, new sober life. Having this dark period behind him, he started painting. And painting for him in this period was something different. Because music, music always been his profession. Something that he treated really seriously. And it also was associated with partying, with drugs, with alcohol, with these dark times. And he didn't want that. He started painting just as a hobby, just for himself, just to paint something lighthearted, funny and colorful, like his new lifestyle. And he started posting this on Instagram and people loved it immediately. At the same time, he started to work at this guitar shop uh, as a salesman. And in this shop, his music industry knowledge shined through, his stage charisma shined through, his salesmanship that developed from childhood shined through. And this is the trait of 1000 that anything he does, he does with love and tries to be the best at. So he quickly became a best salesman in the shop and then he became a sales manager for the shop. So basically he was working a full shift, coming home and then painting. So people reached out to him if they could buy his art. And he started selling immediately on Instagram for 50 bucks, 1000, for 50 bucks, 100 bucks. Wow, I'm making money out of my art. So he slowly decreased his hours at the guitar center and he started working four days a week, three days a week, two days a week. And finally, he hit his first art exhibition. He created 30 paintings, sold all of them, and he got his first mural gig. Even though he never did murals before, he went for it. And this was something new, big work, big paycheck, and he learned so much doing it, but his first mural job, he didn't get paid. This guy ripped him off. And of course, important experience, learning experience, but also it opened the door for 1000 to get another and another and another gigs. And actually the gigs never stopped coming. So murals were great for him because it's a big work, so big paycheck. You exhibit your art publicly so everyone can see it and with your signature everyone can reach out and also it's project big enough that you can make the video about it and then post it. Get the viewers from that. So 1000 putting videos on internet, on Facebook, on YouTube as well. He blew up a few times, for example with this David Bowie with mural. 1000 has 700,000 subscribers right now. This is my milestone mural. Every time my channel gets another 100,000 subscribers, I repaint this wall in my house to celebrate the And he does something like this. Ask a favor. Subscribe. I'd love to paint the 800,000 milestone mural as soon as possible. At the current trajectory of subscriber growth that I have going on, it says it's gonna take- But how he could get to 1 million even faster? Well, what if he would provide the value allowed only for YouTube subscribers? If people could get some of his mini course or the lead magnet just for subscription, then people who watch but don't subscribe would do it just to get value, right? But this is the YouTube missing option. This is why I created Subscribely Pro, a simple browser extension that allows YouTubers to exchange extra value for subscriptions, making viewers click worth it. Subscribely Pro will be a YouTube greatest revolution. Check the first link in the description. He got offers to go to Brazil, to go to Japan, to work with other creators. Amazing, amazing, amazing doors open for him. 1000 got this job at the cannabis shop. They asked him to paint a mural. Then they asked him to paint this and design this and maybe do this. So he started doing everything for them and he became the designer, the art director for the whole company. So they gave him some space, some magazine, and he started selling his t-shirts. This was the beginning of his entrepreneurial journey. So he was designing t-shirts, selling them, having this small magazine, but he always wanted to have something on his own. He took the decision, he took all of his savings and he put them into his own small shop and small gallery. He opened Statics. This was super scary and super stressful for him because it was all of his life's savings. So Statics, his gallery and his shop, it's it's cool. It's for the rebels. It's for the cool kids. It's not this snobbish, high standard, like white collar art studio. No. This is just streetwear, skateboarders, and cool kids. Being your own boss, it's 100 times more work to do, but it never feels like work because you do what you love and you can do it all day. With 1000, he is a perfect example of the personal brand because he is not working on his business only when he's sleeping. If you think about it, he is the brand, he is the company. So he's painting, painting murals, designing t-shirts, and he's making the videos about them. This is a business solely focused on a creator. So what's cool about his art, he believes that it should be affordable for everyone. 
he's playing the game of quantity. I mean, this is just a pure muff. It's better to sell 1000 t-shirts for 30 bucks than one painting for 1000. His super cool idea was, hey, what if I will just design one t-shirt per month and I will create this t-shirt subscriptions and my subscribers will get t-shirt each month and it will be the mystery. I mean, nobody will know what the design will be. So this is so brilliant idea because you just have to take the decision once that you will pay and then you forget about it and you get the t-shirt each month. So you kind of like waiting for it and 30 bucks per month, it's, it's not like a big deal. And this is amazing. This is amazing. And this builds this community. This builds connection with this is the business approach, but with charisma and with providing value through your art. This is amazing. And so 100 also start his Patreon. And he approaches it with the same mindset as with t-shirts and stairs and his art. That should be available for everyone. And I was shocked that it is only $2. And this is like, wow. I mean, I would be stupid not to buy it. And there's immediately you get value. You get these podcasts, you get exclusive materials, you can play games with them, with, commu with community and with 1000 himself. This is amazing. And I took the lesson for myself that I should open the Patreon with exclusive art content inside. So if you are interested, link in the description. My Patreon is starting, inspired by this guy. If you could really have the conversation, the connection with your viewers inside of the Patreon or something, this is actually amazing. So 1000 had this amazing idea. He put this video about him designing the deck of cards. And this was again, taking his viewers, his subscribers on the journey. So he shared the idea. He talked with subscribers. He asked questions. He got feedback. And he was slowly, slowly, slowly designing this deck of cards where they slowly, slowly, slowly developed it together. And it ended up with him putting the deck of cards, which was beautifully made, beautifully designed. He put it on Kickstarter as a Kickstarter campaign to gather $10,000. So with this story, with bringing people together, bringing people inside of the project, not just showing, yeah, I will do it. Look how I'm, how I'm doing it. He took them inside and they were part of the process. And with this approach, he gathered $1 million in one day, 18,000 people paying him. Amazing, amazing. And people are in love with that, with this project, with these cards. And it's, you just cannot hate this guy. Even if he's making so much money, he is so pure and lighthearted. And he is like this down to earth guy that it's like impossible to hate this guy. Amazing, amazing. And truly inspiring for me that I could really share my art and share my process and uh, allow people to like be in the journey with me. Of course, I'm not on this level yet, but I would love to do projects like that. And I have a little bit, a little bit of imposter syndrome. If I will like ask for the money, people will hate me or something. So I think this is really like inspiring for me money-wise as well. So being this light-hearted guy with cool story and amazing art behind his back, uh, 1000 is really respected on YouTube. And he, at some time, he started getting this request of making custom things like custom Louis Vuitton bags or, or watches or whatever. But his biggest project was like this machine subscribe counter for Mr. Beast. And like, if you think about it, if imagine this, the thing that you do with love and do as a hobby is opening the doors for you to get to the biggest people on earth. Mr. Beast is the biggest YouTuber on earth. And 1000, even if he's not the biggest one, his art is opening the doors for him. Isn't that amazing? It's like super cool, super cool. Right now, 1000 being this jack of all trades, let's say, his entire life is this mix of artistic endeavors wrapped around him as a perfect example of personal brand, one person business model. I have the same. I cannot do one thing and I cannot just see it and master one thing. I would die of boredom. I don't know if it's ADHD or like super creativity or I don't know. I just know that I have to do different things. And looking at 1000, seeing his business model, I'm like, wow, okay, I can do it as well. I don't have to choose just one thing. I can do 10 things at one time because this lifestyle gives him excitement and excitement for the next project and the next project and the next project. He is not tired with just one constant repeated thing. He is just excited about the next week and the next day. From artistic and business perspective, 1000 looks like he won at life and I'm truly inspired to do the same. Peace.